Hello Pisces, welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie and this is your reading for April 16th through the 30th. Today we'll be pulling a card for your overall energies. We'll take a look at your specific energies, the energies connected to you, and then how those dance and mingle in the middle. We'll then close off the reading with an oracle card for the Piscean Collective. Do keep in mind these are general readings, so take only what resonates. In addition to your sun sign, you may want to look at your moon, rising, and north node placements for additional context. You can also cross watch for a partner, friend, or a crush. If you're interested in a personal reading, there are links in the description below. And you can also interact with me on social media. I would love to see you there on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Creators on the Crest. Okay, Pisces, let's get into your energy. We'll get you a card from the Major Arcana of the Rider Waite Tarot and see what these overall energies are for you during this cycle. The Magician, Pisces, woo, you might be manifesting something here or learning something. For some of you, I get that there's, there's very much um, a learning of your own magic or perhaps some tool or some method that you're coming into. So definitely manifestations and, and knowledge being gained here for you at this time, Pisces. Let's see, let's go deeper. Let's get into that. The elements are at your disposal here. Whew, let's see what this looks like. Feels very connected to your value, your worth, your talents, your gifts, your abilities. Pull your energies here, the energies connected to you here. Oh, wow, such different energies. Pisces, you're kind of throwing me a different loop from what I've seen before. You just move differently. That's what y'all do, though. It's beautiful. Okay, yeah, seeing some, some different energies here for Pisces. <clears throat> Okay, on your side, Pisces, you get the Judgment card, the Ten of Swords, and the Justice card. Wow. Um, you, may, you may be doing some sort of a healing class or some healing work. You're definitely, whatever you're doing or whatever you're learning or whatever you're manifesting for, it's definitely bringing resolution to some of your past karmic cycles, which is really beautiful to see. After all, Pisces, you are the shaman of the astrological chart. So you have this ability to move in these and flow in these greater expanded realms. And I'm definitely getting that. You're definitely facing yourself here. And you do have this Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is like something coming to an end. You can see in this card, this guy's got like eight swords on his waist and he's got two in his hands. This is, it's feeling um, like you may feel like you have to tackle something or attack something in your life. It could be a karmic pattern that you have that you're working on tackling. You're, you're determined to bring this into balance because you got the Justice card here. So... There's definitely something that you're trying to set straight. Maybe somebody misunderstood you. For some of you, you've been misunderstood and you're trying to set the record straight here. Um, for some of you, it could be you did something wrong to somebody else that you're atoning for or somebody did something wrong to you and that, that energy is being brought into balance. We'll see when we clarify. For this person connected to you, they get the... Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Six of Cups. This person seems to be in a bit of a rut, perhaps, or maybe they're looking to start something back up, but their mind isn't in the right space. They're, they're showing me a, a family type scenario perhaps and they're trying to fit the pieces together they could be dealing on dealing with something from their childhood they could really be taking their time to work through that and it, it could be causing them not to take a whole lot of action in the practical world right now i do see determination there for them i see the 
belief that they will move through this and they will figure things out. Um, they may just have to do a little bit of looking back to figure out how to do that. Maybe that's why the magician is coming up. There's definitely some, some things that need to shift and change here for both of you. And in the connecting energies, you all get the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Cups. This is very passionate, uh, forward, fiery energy between the two of you, but also a very loving energy and a very nurturing energy coming through. So even though it looks like on the surface here, you guys are dealing with some challenging things, um, the connection there looks, looks like it's got the right elements in place. Let's look at this judgment card for you. Nine of Swords, the Hermit, and the Page of Cups. So this tells me, Pisces, you were either hurt by someone you trusted or you hurt. You hurt somebody you trusted. You definitely are atoning for that. You definitely, this caused you to maybe go inside yourself a little. Again, this could be, this may not have been intentional. You may have been misunderstood by someone and it ended up with hurt feelings and that, that caused you tension. This could be a misunderstanding at, in the workplace, but it seems a little close to the heart. So if it is in the workplace, it's someone that you're friends with or closer to. And you are you are definitely offering this situation um, what love you can at this time as you're processing everything that happened, as you're atoning for it. Um, this could be, for some of you, connected to some past life issues with whatever person you're dealing with. This may not be the same person Whatever happened here and being misunderstood and hurting and being hurt, that may be different than this person over here. I, I, I'm i I'm getting it might be an external, a third person over here. So for some of you, at least. Let's look at this Ten of Swords for you, Pisces. The Knight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Two of Swords. There's been some sort of fight here. I can see that. There's been some sort of fight. And on the one hand, you moved toward it. You you were a willing player in this fight. On the other hand, you had to defend yourself. This could have been a character attack for some of you of some kind. And I'm sorry if that happened. That's ugly. And it is clear that whomever was involved in this situation that you've been dealing with, they did not have the full picture. Um, there was definitely confusion there or thinking things were one way when re really they were another way. And there is this feeling I get too of like, um, somebody feels slighted or like they were misunderstood or done wrong. You know, they were done wrong based on what they were trying to bring to the table. So, you know, these are tough energies to work through. And we all have times in our life where we wish we would have made different choices or done things differently or that we've we've said something and it got misinterpreted and everything got switched around and turned around until it was like a mess that wasn't really there to begin with. This feels like that kind of energy where there's been that that kind of misunderstanding. But let's look at this justice card. We definitely like seeing that here because it's going to bring in some balance. The three of pentacles, the ten of cups, and the king of cups. Yes, so Pisces, you're doing what you do best. You're coming back into your heart. You're navigating the spiritual energies and the practical worldly earthly energies as well. You're, you're allowing your heart to open back up to the situation. There, I'm feeling forgiveness involved here. There's a sense of camaraderie or collaboration. It may not be with the exact person that you got in, in the argument with, but somebody is working with you or you're working with somebody in a way that helps you recognize that 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 was just, you know, a karmic situation or something that had to be resolved, something that had to be um, be agreed upon by both your souls in order for it to take place. And it took place and it, and it ran its course. And now you're coming into these more balanced um, energies where, okay, whatever the karma was, it was set straight. So whether it was your wrongdoing or the wrongdoing of someone else or just a misunderstanding that went awry, um, it looks like it's being brought into balance, which is good, which is all the more reason why we have the magician here, um, you know, navigating and working through this with the different elements. 
All right, let's look at this Seven of Pentacles for this person connected to you. They get the High Priestess, the Seven of Pentacles, again, and the Queen of Pentacles. So two Seven of Pentacles here. Wow, okay, I don't know if this person, like I said, I for some of you, I was feeling a third party energy. For some of you, this could be the person you're dealing with. I don't know that they yet see the wisdom that they need to see from this situation. Now, if this is just someone connected to you, your partner or something, and they saw you happen, you, they saw this happen between you and someone else, it really hit a note with them as well. They're definitely pausing here. They're definitely looking for the wisdom. They're definitely slowing things down on their end. They It may have triggered something for them to heal or for them to look at within their own life if it doesn't have directly to do with them. The, if it does have to do with them, this has to do with how they feel like how they came across to you. And I don't think how they came across was how they intended because they're they're slowing down. They're kind of taking a step back and they're... They're not crossing through this energy until they figure out some more things about it. Let's look at this Ace of Swords for them. The Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Again, they're clarifying themselves doubly here, like several times. This person that's connected to you in some way, they're going to have to be careful that they don't carry forth into their new journeys, the next phase of their life, the next cycle with, um, I want to say ignorance, ignorance and victimhood. Those two things are coming through really strong for this person. You know, for some of you, this could be the person that you had the misunderstanding with. Um, they have a real problem with, because they have some unresolved pain from the past that they're, they're looking at it, but they're, they're not picking it up. They're not dealing with it. You know, they're, they're where it's there, but they're kind of like, you know, ignoring it and they're not really picking it up and dealing with it. They're kind of gazing at it like, eh, you know, and it's, it's like, it's part of their story. It's part of this person's story. This, this ignorance and this, um, victimhood is intertwined with their story. And it's a real, uh, they are on a tightrope right now. They are on the edge of the knife. They are on the edge of this Ace of Swords because it's very important that as they move forward and as they parse through everything that happened, whether it was something they just witnessed with you and someone else or it was between the two of you, this has triggered something in them and it's triggered them to deal with this victim mentality that they're actually stuck in, okay? Okay. Yes, people are victims at times. Yes, there are victims in this world. And we don't want to shame or, or make anyone feel bad for being a victim when they were victimized because they were victimized, right? For this person, and again, because of the nature of the judgment card coming in for you, the magician here, this could be past life things coming up for healing as well. They, at some point in their soul's journey, got stuck a little bit in this victimhood, in this victim mentality. And so then they started moving through their life or lifetimes in that energy. And it's not, it's not getting them anywhere, right? It's almost like they keep recycling back to the same place in their minds because of that, that ignorance and that victim mentality. They're not looking at the new ways of approaching this, the new ways of processing this, even though I feel like those new ways are available to them. Let's look at this Six of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and boom, they get the Judgment card and the Devil. Now that I see this, I'm wondering if this is the person that misunderstood you or or did you wrong or it, the whole situation just went awry because they've got the judgment card here now too. 
over a seemingly happy home. Now, again, this for some of you, if it wasn't this person you were dealing with, they could just, this is something from childhood that could have been triggered up for them or a past life, like I said. There's some deeper, higher soul contract level energies and situations coming into play. This person is quite blinded and quite injured by this at this time. But your connecting energies, till I clarify here, we'll see, are looking pretty good. So it could be that, um, you know, for those of you where this is a partner, someone who sees you go through this, it's triggered something for them to heal too. And now they're going through it, you know, they're going through the muck. And so let's see, we've got this Ace of Wands. We've got this attraction and passion on your side, clarified by the Knight of Cups on their side by the Temperance card. <sighs> They may be um, someone who kind of dulled their fire and their passion. You could be dealing with a fire sign too here, perhaps. Um, or muted, kind of muted themselves for some reason. And I think the attraction here between the two of you, because you bring a lot of love to this situation. You bring a lot of understanding to this situation. You bring a lot of transformation in. And... I think they're they're feeling that out. They're getting used to that. This could be someone who isn't used to to they they they're used to being victimized. This could be someone who has um, unfortunately a history of abuse in their life or something of that nature, and and or something you know traumatic that happened from a past life that's still in their energy field and they're dealing with it they they see the love i believe they're accepting the love they're just kind of like is this really what i think it is they're kind of observing it kind of like they're kind of just observing their wounds they're kind of at the standstill right now But this is going to make all the difference for them. Whatever sparked this, whether it's between the two of you or something they witnessed, this is going to make a huge difference for them in their life. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups. On your side, it's clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, and on their side, the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, they're working on it. They're not, they, they are on board with the love that the two of you have for one another. Um, it could be in your relationship. This was a, a karmic past life that's been worked out or, or being resolved here. Again, you're coming at it with a little bit more understanding. You kind of have this strategy around how to heal it and how to come back to the heart and come back to the heart of the matter and come back to the your heart of hearts and the, the heart of the relationship here. They're working at it. They're working at that. They're a little bit harder time making their way back to the heart of things. Or they're just pausing right now. I don't think they're going to be able to pause for much longer, though. Yeah, because the devil card with the judgment card, they're coming up together. This is something that has to be faced. Even though, you know, I get for them that they're, they might be afraid to feel that pain again of whatever it was they went through, but they need to be reminded that it will never be the level of pain that it was when you experienced it, even if you don't remember it. So there's kind of that fear of the unknown going on. Definitely a delicate situation here, Pisces, but I feel like you being you with your shamanic energies and of marrying the spirit and the earth, I think you can really you can really help this person or your energies just naturally help them. And you know, you're already showing me that you're coming back into a place where things are balanced and, and justice has been served and, and, you know, the karmic patterns resolved. So, wow, what a big cycle. Pisces, let's pull you a card from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to close off your reading. Okay, you get fogged in, go slow and take your time. And that's okay. There are moments where this happens in life, right? 
Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. You are safe. When you take time to go slowly, new perceptions emerge that you cannot see if you are moving fast. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your very first instinct. Take the time to tune in to your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. Yes, Pisces, these are energies for you, for them, that these energies need to be held and looked at and they need to have a presence so that the movement can happen. And I like that that go slow and take your time came in there. And I think it will pay off, especially you bringing your gifts and abilities to this relationship, to this situation, to all the wisdom that you've gained and the wisdom that's on offer for this other person once they're ready to look at it. That's that's the kind of energies we want to start weaving into the reality field here, Pisces. It's been amazing to get out here in front of you again and not just do the cards in my hands. I am so happy to see you. Thank you for tuning in. If this resonated, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment and I will see you next time.